One of the very first movies that my rotten millennial brain can remember seeing in theaters was Kiki's Delivery Service sometime in the late 90s. And from then, I was hooked, baby. Say what you want about me, I've been a Ghibli girl since day one. So when I see luxury brand Loewe collabing with Ghibli again, I click. But do I buy? No. No, I do not. I don't know if you're the same way, but I have this extremely powerful and toxic voice in my head that says, I can do that. And I can save myself hundreds, nay, thousands of dollars by using items from the thrift store. Speaking of, let's go to there. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Kathleen and I make videos about sustainable style and art, sometimes my dog. About a year ago, I made a video DIYing the Loewe and Spirited Away collaboration. And when I saw all of this calcifer drip and these fallen stars, I knew I had to get my paw on that ball. So at the thrift store today, we're looking for wallets, purses, scarves, jackets, all the things. So let's get started. Oh, also there's a giveaway at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around. All right, I've done pretty well in the wallets. Let me show you what I found. This is my favorite. This is a little coach wallet. It feels pretty old. It's gonna be perfect for a little calcifer painting. But now we've got bigger purses to look at too, so maybe we can find something there. Finding something with this cool like saddle shape would be amazing. Let's see if we can get lucky. This honestly has a pretty nice shape, but it's more of like a charcoal, less of a black. Ooh, this one has a nice flat paintable body. <laughs> is that a creepy thing to say? Your body is so paintable. <laughs> this store is so wild. They have like t-shirts for $45. That should not be $45. And then they have a coach bag for $3. I don't know. I kind of like the chaos to be honest. I was looking for something this color for the blue calcifer and this is so nice. It's 60 bucks. Hi, I did find this little powder blue cashmere scarf and it kind of looks like this a little bit like maybe I can needle felt a little blue calcifer on here I can't think of anything cuter for now though we are on the hunt for denim denim shirt denim pants aka jeans so let's hunt So I grabbed a bunch of jeans, but uh, this thrift store does not have a dressing room. But luckily, I've got a really long coat on. So time to get naked, tastefully nude in the thrift store. That is my brand. Hope no one comes down this aisle. <laughs> Do you ever try on a pair of pants only to realize that they're not really pants? I mean, they're not bad. <sighs> okay, I feel hot. I feel exposed. I need to go home. I'll show you what I got when I get there. And we're back. Okay, let me show you what I got. To be honest, most of the items in this collection didn't really strike my fancy, but a few really got my blood pumping. This jacket, hello, and this scarf. We're gonna tackle both of these later using this denim jacket and this blue cashmere scarf, both of which only cost me about five bucks. Can you believe it? But for now, we're gonna start simple and get warmed up with some calcifer wallets. I found two beautiful coach wallets. This black one I think was around $4 and this baby blue one, which is perfect for this calcifer one, I think was like $12.99. A little more expensive, but um, yeah. So let's jump in. Good evening. You might be wondering what I'm holding here. It's a little calcifer I drew on some tracing paper and that's how I'm gonna transfer my image to my wallet. Let me just show you, why am I telling you? Could tape this down, that would probably be smart to do. And although this is a video format and we show we do not tell, do what I say, not what I do. Oh, this metaphor is getting really confusing. looks really bad. <laughs> it looks hand done and not in a good way. Thinking we need to make some stencils. It's time to bring out the knives. Okay, this is kind of moment of truth. See if our experiment worked. I'm gonna try using a sponge. Cross your fingers for me and your toes if you're feeling freaky. This has a 
has the potential of being extremely satisfying, so I'm gonna give you a front row seat. Don't say I never gave you nothing. Oh my gosh, this is working so well. Compare and contrast. Oh no, it's peeling up my red. Well, that's highly disappointing. I have an idea. Ah, it's officially far too late, so I'll see you in the morning. Usually with these designer collaborations, there's one piece of the collection that really clicks in my brain and I think, I gotta get me one of those. <laughs> for the Spirited Away Loewe collaboration, it was the Chihiro sweater. And for the Howl's Moving Castle collaboration, it's the Falling Star set, specifically the jacket. Thus brings us to our keystone project for the day. Let's paint on this jacket. I think this is going to be pretty straightforward. It's literally just painting falling stars all over this. How long that's going to take, I couldn't tell you. So let's get started, do our best, plus ultra and all that good stuff. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to use the same technique I was using for the calcifer wallets, aka creating stencils or masks here because I, why am I telling you? Let me just show you. When will I learn my lesson? I tried painting it by hand and I think I could achieve a good result. It's just I would have to layer up a bunch of layers and it's hard to get a straight edge. And I want the edges to feel really crisp like they do on the actual jacket. So I've created some masks with masking tape. Never thought about that? Why it's called masking tape? Oh, mind blown. You probably have, you're smart. And we're gonna peel them away and see how they look. Once it's dry enough, of course. I don't wanna do this preemptively. Eh, I kind of do when I do it preemptively. Oops, pretty good. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. This obviously looks better. It's gonna be more work up front to, you know, tape down. But I think once I get the hang of it, I'll be pretty quick. Let's see how the other ones look. Sweet. been working for longer than I'd like to admit and uh, will I be able to finish this today that remains to be revealed but for now I need to go get some shaving cream no further context is needed <laughs> It's time for something a little, oh, you can see my snacks. Don't look at those. That's better. It's time for something a little bit different. This video has been all about experimenting, learning new things, new techniques, failing. So let's keep the momentum and do something I've literally never done before. What does thrifted cashmere scarf plus shaving cream plus blue acrylic paint make? Hopefully this. That's right, we're tackling the calcifer scarf. I wasn't able to find mohair. It would have been a lot fuzzier and more fun that way, but I was able to find cashmere, okay? Although, the fact that the only tag on this scarf is just a big one that just says cashmere and nothing else, it's a bit sus. But I wanted to get that kind of watery, ripply effect, so I thought this might be the best kind of hybrid solution. Let me show you what I'm thinking. Bit soup.
think I have to come back in like five minutes, so. Wait here, watch, watch this dry. Riveting, I know. All right, I think that's long enough. Let's see. Ooh. Wait, that's cool. Okay, so the only thing we really need to do for these wallets is add the pupils. Let's get a little more light in those eyeballs, shall we? Also, in preparation for this video, I went back and watched my first Loewe in Studio Ghibli collaboration video, and I was laughing about how messy the background of my shots was. I was like, girl, what are you doing? But then... Some things will never change. So instead of using paint, I'm actually gonna try and use one of these. This is a permanent Copic multi-liner. And the reason I wanna do that is because Calcifer's pupils are kind of like a little geometric. And I thought that would be difficult to get even with a tiny little brush. And then I got some acrylic leather finish that I can apply afterwards. So hopefully nothing will flake, nothing will wash off and we'll be good to go. And hopefully it doesn't ruin anything. Don't you love experimenting with things in high stakes projects? Ooh. Aw, there he is. There's our little boy. Ta-da! Yeah, that's pretty freaking cute. All right, so here's the deal with this jacket. We've got all of the star trails completed. So now we can go in with the pink and the yellow and the lighter blue and the white and make them look real pretty. So let's get to it. done with the front. I just need to add the white kind of highlights and the splatters. Dude, this is cool. Good morning. You know it's a good day when I'm still in my skeleton suit at whatever time it is. So I thought we could do a progress report because today is the last day I have to work on this. I need to get my bearings and prioritize those tasks because this is a one person production house, okay? Well, I guess it's a two person production house, but he doesn't really do much. So while this jacket dries, let's finish the scarf. I have some ideas. Excuse me. Just add ink in a more intentional way now. So that when we get those eyeballs on there, yeah, we're adding the eyeballs. Didn't I mention that? No? Oops. It'll feel perfect. Now for the step of this smart scarf making process that I've been looking forward to the most. We're gonna brush it with a dog brush. You may notice that the original scarf and this scarf are slightly different textures. I think this technique is mostly used for mohair, something that has a longer strand, but I think we're gonna get a slightly fuzzier result than we have now, which is what we want. So let's get to brushing. This is working great. So soft. I just wanna sleep on it, but we cannot sleep. We must stab. So I'm realizing that if you're new to my channel, you might be alarmed by the fact that we stab things here. Well, we really only stab one thing and it's wool to make felt, needle felting. You ever heard of it? Read a book. Sorry. Come on, 
Let's make some noise for this fluffy boy. I thought the falling star jacket was gonna be my favorite, but man oh man, does this scarf open up the dopamine floodgates. It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. One thing I was not expecting during this video was all of the experimentation and the troubleshooting, which was really fun. Which brings me to a very important question. I would love to try out some new techniques for DIYing and crafting this year. Let's expand our horizons. So let me know down in the comments, is there a specific I Specifer? Is there a specific item that you'd like me to try and replicate? A new technique you want to see me try? I am game if you are game. Speaking of, next week I'm actually gonna take my first plunge into making an entirely handcrafted outfit, so you're not gonna wanna miss that. If you'd like to be notified when I post it, I'm wondering if you would like to subscribe. It's free, it's easy, and it means we can keep hanging out every week. Also, let's talk about the giveaway. Did you forget there was a giveaway? That's right, I'm gonna be giving away this sweet baby blue calcifer coach wristlet. It's in great condition. And you can flip it both sides. It has a little daisy on one side and a little flame baby on the other. The giveaway is open been worldwide, so here's how you enter. One, subscribe to my channel. Two, comment down below the flame emoji, or use emojis that describe your favorite Ghibli film. For example, you could use this for Kiki's delivery service, or this for Spirited Away. Get creative. And finally, make sure you leave some way to get in contact with you, whether that's your Instagram handle or your email. You can also just message me directly on Instagram if you're most comfortable with that. I'll add you to the list. And that's it. Simple enough. I'm gonna pick one winner in one week, and I just hope that you love it. Also, if you get a comment from someone claiming to be me asking you to message them on Telegram, don't do it, tis a scam. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy my other videos, so I'm gonna leave my big old thrifting playlist right here so you can binge to your heart's content. And for now, I'ma go find one of these bad boys to eat because hot take, this is the most delicious Ghibli food. Change my mind. Okay, I'll see you next week. Love you, bye.